Okay, so our scan is done, and if uh, you can see that it's over here on the right-hand side, there's my file that was created, catalog bottles, uh, sorry, catalog bottles 001.tif, which is what we were expecting because we laid out those parameters in the scan uh, window, the dialog window. Let's go see what it looks like. Now, I'm not going to open this in Photoshop. In fact, Photoshop does not even recognize this file at the moment because it does not end in .psd, which, man, which means Photoshop document. So if I just double click this, this opens up in a program called Preview, which is great for just quickly opening documents. It's not it's a very light program, which means it opens very quickly. And you can see that it's 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 a pretty good scan, but look at all these lines and patterns going on here. In fact, let's get a good look at this. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit by hitting command plus, or actually it's really command equals, but um, we're considering it command plus, okay? And look what happens is that there's this kind of patterning going on here, kind of like little circles. Okay, this is called screening. And what happens is when you are printing something, this is, we're talking like high quality magazine, slick magazine covers and uh, book covers and such. You'll find that uh, printers, well, I mean, first of all, look at our level. At, at uh, our level, we have four color printers, okay? Cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, CMYK. And the idea for a printer is that it's trying to look like it's printing all the colors or many colors that the human eye can see. Well, that's very difficult with only four colors. So what a printer has to do is they take the colors they have and they're able to separate those colors using this screening pattern in such a way that it fools the human eye. Okay, and you get, you get a variety of shades that way that uh, you wouldn't normally get with just four colors. So uh, we get this, this, I think it's a moiré pattern, but it's basically used, uh, called screening pattern, screen pattern. And it's visible and it can be annoying. So um, if you happen to scan something of this quality, of a magazine quality for some reason, uh, you might want to try another pattern, another way of uh, scanning that smooths this out. Okay. Now this does actually degrade the image just a little bit, but it's it's pretty cool and it's it's a, it, with this Epson scan software, it's actually very good. They do a good job of this, and that is called this descreening right here, descreening. Now first of all, I'll turn it on. Okay, I'll try it again. There it is. Now it's turned on, and I'm going to click on this little triangle to the next of this. This is called a disclosure triangle. Uh, most people don't call it a disclosure triangle. It's in the industry, in the, in the graphics design world, uh, we call it a twirly. Because when you click it, it kind of rotates, and now, see, it's pointing down, which means that it's opened up, and now you can see another little parameter that's going on in here, which is called the screen ruling. Well, that sounds very technical, and quite honestly, it doesn't have to be, because all we need to do is describe what we're scanning. Okay, so for instance, we've got you know, kind of a general, if we're not really sure what we're scanning, or if you're scanning a newspaper quality, magazine quality, or a high quality, which is going to be fine print. Okay, we've got LPI now. Now it's lines per inch, very similar to the dots per inch or pixels per inch that we've been talking about, or that we're about to talk about, depending on when you're watching this video. Okay, so this is magazine quality, so we'll click on magazine. And uh, really, we don't have to change anything else. We're going to stick with our normal things, high quality, 24-bit color, 300 DPI. Uh, the the scan has already been previewed. We did this with our first thing. We don't have to change anything because I, I haven't moved the catalog in the scanner and therefore the marching ants are still perfectly laid out where I want them. So let's just hit scan. Okay, uh, so again, other, so the file will be placed on the desktop just like this one over here. Uh, the file name is called catalog bottles but now actually we'll, we'll set it for two. I, I, I'll tell you a secret. I already did a, a movie and I messed it up. That's why this one was already incremented. And uh, then there's the TIFF file format. So let's click OK and I'll meet you on the other side. OK, so our file is complete. You can see them both over here on the far right. The first one we did and the second one. Now I'm going to click and drag and select both of them like this. So I'll click my mouse, hold it down and drag so that it selects both of them and now I will drag one of them which really drags both of my it's really one selection together and I will go drop it on my desktop now when I do this uh, the sound might drop out so I'm going to just do it all in one motion and there we go we've got both files open now so let me take a look at this and uh, 
you can see I've got two tabs up here. So now what, what Photoshop has going for it now, hopefully you can actually see the lines here. I'm sorry, let's see. TIFF 1. Let me zoom into this a bit. There you go. Now you can see the uh, the patterning going on there. And now the other one is does is not matched up. So what I'm going to do is there's a tool in Photoshop when you have multiple documents open that are of, of the same size and quality. Uh, we can set this to be arranged. Is it arranged? Yes. And we're going to match zoom and location, which is really both. Okay, now when I click on this one, right here, uh, we get the same location. And you can see, let me turn the masking off here, and I'll go back and forth. And as I said earlier, when we do this kind of de-screening process, it does degrade the image somewhat. But I think this ultimately looks a lot smoother and cleaner than this screened process, which can be kind of uh, harsh and sharp and just feel kind of icky. So this maybe feels a little bit warmer, a little cleaner. And uh, as I said, this de-screening process you would typically only use for scanning magazines, scanning newspapers, some high-end prints. When you are scanning your own, you know, hand-drawn artwork like you're doing for some of my work, then um, you can pretty much do just a non-descreened uh, scan and should, everything should be fine. You won't have to worry about that. But those are the basics of scanning, so just keep in mind the 24-bit uh, color, 30, I'm sorry, 300 dpi, and uh, make sure that it is, it is scanning into a TIFF file and life should be peachy. Okay, so see you in class.